morning, friends. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It's hot, but that's okay. That's what summer's all about, and I love summer. So today is Monday, Motivation Monday. That means something. We're going to read something to get your, re your week started off right. And so I have a newer book that I got from Braun and Co. No, not Brown and Co. I got it from the Bermuda Bookstore um, about maybe two weeks ago. But I was in there yesterday and I did see another copy. So if you really like this book, you can find it at Browning at Bermuda Bookstore. Um, and it's called Just Read. Just Read. And it's by Lori Degman and illustrated by Victoria Tentler Krylov. Krylov? Krylov. Not sure about that last name. So I'm going to take it out and read it. Let me tell you, everybody who uh, knows me um, personally and every all of my students at school know that I absolutely love books. I love books. So when I picked this up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. And so I'm going to read it to you and then afterwards... I'm going to tell you why I chose it for Motivation Monday. Okay? So just read. Ho Hooray! I know how to read on my own. But sometimes I don't want to do it alone. So... I read with an astronaut, pirate, or farmer. I read with a clown or a knight wearing armor. I read with a penguin, a moose, or a bear. I read with a tortoise or read with a hare. Sometimes it's hard to know what things to choose, so I just start reading. I have nothing to lose. I read secret messages written in code. I read funny signs on the side of the road. See, the sign says, still a long way to go. I read things that scare me or cause me to grin. I read about places where I've never been. Sometimes I can't seem to find enough time. I steal a few minutes, but it isn't a crime. I read while I'm waiting to hear my name called. I read while we're driving and traffic has stalled. I read after raking the leaves into piles. I read while I stroll down the vegetable aisles. Sometimes it's boring to read just one way. It gets so monotonous day after day. I read while I'm spinning or sliding or swinging. I read when I'm drumming or strumming or singing. I read with my fingers across bumpy lines. I read with my voice or my hands using signs. So you see this little girl, she's got her fingers going across the uh, across the page. So I'm guessing that she's reading Braille. A Braille is a special type of text for people who are blind and can't see letters. So they read with their fingertips. <laughs> and then over here, you see this little girl, she's throwing this sign, she's doing this sign which is I love you in sign language. So she's giving, so she's reading that. So the kid, the little baby's able to read that sign. Isn't that cool? So there's a lot of different ways that you can read. Sometimes it seems like there's no place to go. So I start exploring and go with the flow. 
I read in a bus or on a train or a plane. I read in a cave or outside in the rain. You see what's going on outside the window? I read in a tree or below in its shade. I read while I march in my hometown parade. Sometimes I don't know the who, where, or when, but that doesn't stop me. I just read again. And that's the end. I thought this was interesting that she has Ramona Road here. So I was wondering if that was the name of, uh, when I was little, there was a series that I used to love. It was Ramona, Ramona Quimby series. So I wondered if that the author had named that Ramona Road for that reason. Anyway, there's the last picture. So, the reason why I chose this book, I'm glad that you're, you tuned in and you're listening to me read to you, but if you can spend some time this summer reading, read. Reading is fun. You get to go to all different places, not just stay in one place because when you read, it opens your mind, it opens your heart, it opens your whole experience to something new. So read, 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 read. Um... I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed, I didn't say this earlier, but I hope you enjoyed your cotton match holiday uh, and you were safe no matter what you did. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Don't forget to read and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more Reading with Miss Painter.